Good morning. God morning to you. You have to see the invisible in order to do the impossible. Michael Beckwith says you have to see the invisible in order to do the impossible. Where I see the word see in that quote, I feel the word feel. So I'd say you have to feel the invisible in order to do the impossible. The world sees many images, but you, the Christ, love the I am, fills only the one invisible self. And when you are filling that invisible one, that means you are being that invisible one, that perfect one. And when you are being and identifying with love as love, the person you think you are shows up as who you've always known you were, who you've always felt that you are. When you are filling love, that body expresses its purpose. It starts doing what it came here to do. I want you to get a notebook and a pen, your cute notebook. And I want you to write, the moment I feel love, comma, I am blank. And in that blank, I want you to write the biggest dream, idea that you have for this incarnation, for this life. The one that you're too embarrassed to even share with your closest friend. The one that is ridiculously audacious. Write that down. It's not audacious. It's who you are. The moment you're feeling love, you are that or something even doper, even more awesome, even more in alignment. And you can write that sentence down for every desire, every seeming want that you have. And know that when you are love, you are that already in that moment. You are being that. And if you continue to feel love, that will express itself outwardly in the world. You will begin to see evidence of it. You will begin to see it, taste it, touch it, smell it, hear it, experience it. Others will experience it. But before they start seeing this evidence, they will see that you have changed. They can feel it. You're lighter. You're not as easily bothered. You're not complaining. You're compassionate. You're a little bit more stingy with your time. For example, if you're off tomorrow, don't waste it. Practice this. It's more time to practice. There's never an off day. You can rest, yes, but rest in love. (laughs) Abide in love. Practice love. That way, when you're back at the office, you're floating. You're not even there. You're in heaven. You're in the kingdom. You're in love while the body is handling business. But you're in your inner church. You're on vacation inwardly. And the more you stay on vacation inwardly, the more you'll be on vacation outwardly. You have to feel the invisible in order to do the impossible. And what I'm saying is, right now, you think that stuff you're writing down is impossible, but you couldn't even think about it if it wasn't in the realm of possibilities for the incarnation that you're living right now. If it was completely out of the box, you couldn't even conceive of it. You couldn't even think of it. It's been placed within you like a seed. And right now, We are cultivating it. 
or you're nurturing it with love. You're growing into who you are. And that desire is a hint of who you are. It's not something that you're not. It's not something that you're not yet. You are some version of that. Your mind distorts things so it could possibly interpret that desire as something that's not quite right for you. But if you trust love, you know that it will carry you to something even better. You know, in my favorite song right now, my present favorite song, Come to Life, Kanye, at some point in the song, he says, praying for a change in your life. Well, maybe it'll come tonight. Praying for a change in your life. Maybe it'll come tonight. Those words seem so simple. But we don't think like that. We put everything off. The stuff that we even think is possible, we put it off. It can't be possible tonight. We can't start seeing evidence of it tonight. It's going to take at least, you know, two months to do this and four months to get this ready. And, you know, maybe by next year. No. The change that comes now, this morning, is the feeling of love. That's what I'm telling you. That's all the evidence that you need, that you are blank. That thing, that person, that star, that writer, that speaker, that motivator. You are that. You shift into that reality. The minute you become aware of love. And then you stay in that love. And that love will take the forms of your life, of this new chosen life. Same love felt consciously. New life. Let go into your new life. It is here. Let go into love. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and relax into the silence and relax into the silence that was always already here waiting for you. The silence is like your cocoon. It's like the fertile ground that your seed, the seed that you are, the seed of that desire is going to sprout from. You have to continuously return to the ground of being, this place, this silence, this love. Interrupt your day today, every day. All day tomorrow, if you have it, at least 10 to 30 minutes tomorrow. Rest in this, even if it's 10 minutes three times throughout the day. Be this. Still, be still. Be still and feel his presence, love's presence. Let it grow you. Let it change you. Let it rearrange everything in your life. Let it be you. Give thanks to it, knowing that now that it is present consciously, Your whole life path has been altered for good, for God. And it's like it's saying back, love is saying back to you. 
Allow me to flow through you unrestricted. Allow me to flow through you unrestricted and you will see the greatest magic you have ever seen. It's a quote from Klaus Joel. Allow this love to flow through you unrestricted. Relax further. The restriction is you tensing. Become aware of the tensing now, but especially during the day. Notice how you tense on the way to the office. Notice how you tense when that particular person walks past your office door. Notice how you tense when you recognize that your partner might be in a bad mood, might be coming in hot. And release the tension. Release it. I was with my son a couple days ago and he was having a meltdown because he did not want to take a nap. And he had to take a nap because it was nap time and I needed to get some work done. And so I'm sitting over him and I'm like, gotta take a nap, babe. If you were at school, it'd be nap time. You know, just doing the the negotiating and the talking. And I get a message from a spiritual friend, a God friend, a good friend. And it just said, abide in love. Everything abides in love. And that was enough to trigger me to remember, release, allow love to flow unrestricted. And I relaxed because I was tense because I needed him to sleep and he wasn't. And so the minute I released and relaxed, so did he. It's a mirror. And so if you have young children at home, Try this. I know this. It works, but I was lost in the dream. In that moment, I was in the dream. And that text was like an alarm. Came from Neem Das. Thank you, Neem, if you're listening. It woke me up. It woke me up. I let love flow unrestricted again. Consciously, it's always flowing. And so it's words suck, but it's always flowing. But all of a sudden, I became aware of it again. And it was on full power flowing through, me being that. And Max was embraced in that love without me saying a word, no more negotiating, no more words were needed. No words are necessary when love is consciously on the scene. And he went to sleep for like two hours and I got done what needed to get done. was editing for this, for you. When you allow this love to flow unrestricted, you are different. You are different. And very, very soon, your whole world will be different too. Nothing is impossible when you're in the presence of love, when you feel love, when you are love. When you are love, as Neem Karoli Baba would say, everything is achieved. Everything is achieved. Let it flow today. Let it flow unrestricted. You are that already. Revisit your notes. Put it in your phone. When I'm feeling love, I am the blank, blank, blank that I've wanted to be for ever, that I've felt forever. You are. It's happening. Give thanks. Give thanks. I love you, and we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you so I can see your smile.